Yeah, we do. We have a high fire danger day because of how dry we are and because of these windy conditions. In fact, there's a red flag warning for the western part of the state right now, and that's going to go until 8 p.m. tonight. So we are going to get some relief, but before then, we're going to see that elevated fire risk. This is looking at going into tonight. You can see that those wind gusts are still going to be close to 30 miles an hour, and we're still going to have that elevated fire risk across majority of the state. And then as we go into tomorrow, Tomorrow, things start to get a little bit better. The winds start to calm down a little bit overnight uh, tonight and then going into tomorrow. It does ramp back up just a little bit. You can see that elevated fire danger comes back going into Sunday afternoon and early evening hours. So we want to be very mindful with anything that could cause a spark outside because it's so dry outside. One little spark can cause a massive fire and it will spread quickly because we'll have those 20 to 30 mile an hour winds guys that can just easily spread that fire. But after Sunday, things will get a lot better. Now we are going to see a cold front come in through tonight. We'll knock our temperatures down close to average for this time of year. Unfortunately, we warm right back up, get well above average again going into this new week, but there is a better cool down on the way. We just have to wait a little longer because even the next 8 to 14 days, you can see we are still in that orange color. We're still going to be seeing those warmer temperatures. Summer just doesn't want to let us go and it doesn't want to let majority of the US go. You can see all of us are really going to be seeing those warmer temperatures except for those out on the East Coast. So if you're wanting those fall like temperatures right now, Iowa is not the place that you're going to be finding them for a little bit longer. However, tonight you can be able to see those northern lights. They're going to be out on the horizon. You can see that the state of Iowa is in that green shade, which means you have the potential to see them tonight. If you want them to be overhead, you'll have to go much further north, closer to Canada, but you could see the northern lights tonight. And as we look at the visibility for tonight, it looks pretty good. We are going to have some passing clouds, though, as we go on throughout the night, so there may be an hour or two where clouds will be in your way, but for the most part, expect some pretty clear skies. Tonight it will get a little less windy, 55 degrees for your low, so overall it's going to be a pretty nice night to be out to see the northern lights. And then tomorrow, 72 degrees will be breezy in the morning, and then things will calm down as we get into the evening. And then as we go into the next seven days, you see we warm right back up. Lots of sun, not a lot of clouds, but however, going into that following week, we cool right back down and things look like they'll get close to normal.